I want to, uh, before we get into questions, and Jessica, one of the things I want to talk about with you is your market analysis and uh, do a, an exercise that I think will will serve you. Before we hop into that, um, one of the things I've been thinking about uh, this week I want to share with you guys is the uh, the value of having a coach um, in your life. And I know you've seen this with, with real estate specifically, um, but piggybacking off of last week's conversation about goals and goal setting, one of the things I'd encourage everybody to do is as you're making your goals and you have your you go through the, uh, you identify your life accounts, and then you go through the uh, creating the ideal situation or the ideal state for each of them. And then your gap, what's the gap between your ideal state and where you're at now, and then setting next steps. One of the things I'd encourage you for each of those areas of your life is to have a coach of some sort. This has been, I don't think I fully appreciated this. I, I certainly understood the value of mentoring. I certainly understood the value of having someone that can give you direction or someone that's gone before you and, and has more experience than you. But since starting really this business and quitting my W-2 and going away from a paradigm that I I just thought was what life was, my dad grew up, you know, as I was growing up, my dad would go to the bank, he'd be there from eight to five, he'd, he'd put a suit on, go to bank eight to five and come back. And that was my paradigm of what being a successful adult or even what being a man looked like. And so breaking away from that was really interesting because a lot of times, particularly in larger organizations, your mentor or your coach or your developer developer is your manager. Um, and that is, that's a paradigm until you get to a manager where, you're, where you realize that's not a capability that they have or that, um, that that's not maybe a strength of theirs. Maybe they're more of a program manager than they are a people manager or something similar. And so I, I certainly experienced it there, but have really grown to really appreciate and be fascinated by the benefit of having coaches in area, uh, every area of life. An another way that this looks like for me is my physical trainer. Um, one of the benefits of having him as my coach, his name's Thatcher Riddle, uh, his business is called Train Daily, and he, he coaches people all over the place. He has an online business as well, but he happens to be uh, here in town. But he coaches people so that they cannot have to worry about it. Like for me, I didn't grow up in a healthy world. You know, like I don't know what is in food. Like I must have missed that class and things like that. And so I would try a lot of things to be healthy and they just didn't work. And being able to have him as my coach, he can be doing the diagnostics, right? He can be evaluating why aren't things working. And then he can come up with another plan and recommend it to me, right? So having him as a coach, is a hugely valuable deal. I've also got a marketing agency that I work with that helps give me guidance on uh, the marketing side of things. And so whenever I say, well, why don't we try, or I'm trying this, it's not working, then they can help diagnose. And it allows me to take my brain off of those things. The benefit for that is, you know, with the lifestyle that we're pursuing and the lifestyle that, that we're currently living in our family, I want to be able to give my mental and emotional capacity to my wife and my kid. All right, I want to be able to give all of my capacity to the people that I care about the most. And that might look different for everybody. It might be family, or if you don't have an immediate family living with you, it might be your roommates, it might be your community, it might be the organization that you volunteer with. But you can give your capacity wholly to the areas that you care most about. That has been one area that's really, really served me. And it's allowed me to continue to make progress in the areas I really care about because I've identified them, I've set some ideal state. I've set goals and next steps with them and identified somebody that can keep me accountable. Oftentimes we think of accountability as a negative term because there's been somebody behind the scenes that's been doing this, you know, and that's what accountability is in your professional organization or maybe even in your relationships or whatever, whatever it might be. But accountability is one thing I want this group to also have. And I'm, I'm working on building out some things on the back end that I think will be really helpful and, and serve you guys building out systems to be able to follow up uh, a little bit more proactively for you guys to help you keep moving. Because that accountability is what helps you maintain momentum. If you just get one door or two doors and you decide, well, that's cool. I've done it. I've now figured it out. And the newness, kind of the sexiness wears off then you're only at two doors. And still, I, I do agree that's life-changing, but you're not getting to your financial freedom number like we planned out, right? Math is different than reality. If you plan out, well, if I get one door every three months, then in you know 18 months, I'll be at my number, or in 26 months, I'll be at my number. 
And you have to maintain that discipline. And that's what that accountability offers. So that's one thing I would encourage you as you're going through your goals and setting those goals, try and identify a coach or a type of coach for each area. It'll look different for, you know, maybe for if you're looking at uh, your spiritual relationships, maybe that's a pastor or maybe it's a community group leader. Um, if you're looking for friendships, maybe it's someone older than you, a more prototypical mentor that maybe, you know, has uh, 20 years experience on you or something like that. Um, or maybe they, you, they're just someone who you admire the way that they serve their community or their friendships. But so it could be as informal as that. It could also be as formal as somebody that you actually pay to be your coach or you you trade something, whether you're helping them or you're working for them for free and they give you guidance and uh, act as a coach for you, I'd encourage you to identify at least one person in each area of your life and then pursue them as a coach in some capacity. Uh, that has served me a bunch and allowed me to continue to make, maintain and make momentum with the areas in life that are really, really important to me without increasing my mental and emotional output so that I can reserve that for the, for the people and the priorities that I have. So hopefully that serves you guys, especially as you're developing your new year's goals. Um, if you guys have questions about that, of course, I'm always uh, happy to help, but uh, with that, hopefully that's encouraging to you. We can go ahead and move into our Q and a session. So if you guys have re uh, questions, feel free to hop down and raise hands and we'll get rolling. Hey, thanks for watching. If this was helpful to you and you want to keep learning the most productive insider secrets about real estate investing, subscribe here. If you're ready to start building your cash flowing portfolio and do what I did, build a multi-million dollar portfolio in 18 months so that you can quit the rat race nine to five in less than three years, and you want someone to walk you through the entire process step by step so that you can move faster with less risk, be protected from risk, then click here to learn how I work with people. And I will show you how I help people get their first cash flowing rental in 90 days. Don't stay trapped, become financially free so you can do what matters.